Aline Nukos, one of the two Filipina domestic workers killed in the December 29th car crash near a shopping center in Singapore, comes from a Philippine province that has the most number of households in the country dependent on overseas labor for income. Overseas Filipino workers help to improve their families' lives and boost the local economy, but often with great sacrifice. Buena Bunel tells us more. It's not the reunion that Arlene Nukos's loved ones had hoped for. Her remains arrived in her hometown on the second day of the new year. Arlene was from the coastal town of Caba in La Union. It's one of the provinces that has the most number of Filipinos working overseas. At one point in the past decade, one out of every 16 adults from La Union was working abroad. The Philippines is a major labor exporting country, which is why its government lobbies overseas for policies geared towards the protection of migrant workers. Small fishing towns like here in Caba have seen the transition of residences from small huts to relatively larger homes thanks to the remittances of overseas Filipino workers. But the government's goal has always been to provide enough jobs at home so that Filipinos no longer feel like finding opportunities abroad is the only choice they have. Across the country, La Union has the highest share of households where at least 50% of their income comes from migrant workers' remittances. Arlene's family speaks of how the money she sent back helped subsidize a medical operation, paid for the renovation of the family house, and funded four college educations, even though she herself did not finish school. But her family also had to bear with her long absences from home. Arlene left to be a domestic worker in Singapore at the age of 20 and for the past three decades would only return every two years. Mahirap lang naman ang buhay namin noon. Uh, ang nanay ko namat 1988 and then yung papa ko, yung tatay ko, isa siyang farmer at the same time fisherman yung trabaho niya noon. Dahil sa hirap ng buhay and then may nag-alok naman ng tulong na siya ay makapunta sa doon nga sa Singapore. Yun, green up na niya yung opportunity na magtrabaho sa abroad. Mabait siya sa kamag-anak, masayahin. Uh, tuwing ano nga yan, pag sinusundo ko sa airport, tuwing umuwi. Uh, hindi siya natutulog. Ano, yung gising lagi, eh, nabiyahe kami gabi, papunta rito. Masayahin tao talaga si Arlene. With more than 2 million overseas Filipino workers as of 2018, the government has measures in place to ensure their welfare abroad. These include cracking down on fly-by-night recruitment agencies, providing pre-departure seminars, and even enforcing deployment bans to countries where there have been cases of workers being abused. Reintegrating returning workers to their hometowns is also a priority for the government. For the Nukas family, overseas labor was their way out of grinding poverty. But loved ones now say Arlene's absence for the past 30 years only adds to the hurt they feel over her death now. Buena Bernal, CNA, Northern Philippines.